Welcome back everyone to the Alaska Huskies franchise. We're in the postseason. Let's go get a Stanley Cup. Am I right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's mush. Uh-oh. This is a problem. Very first shot of the game. Actually two shots in a row here right off the get-go for Neil Till getting tested right out the gate, man. So the Anaheim Ducks, they didn't like the fact that we beat them the last time in a shootout in order to make the playoffs. So this is a... This is a brewing rivalry. Now, I know that we've talked about rivalries here in the past. In this series, we've faced off against the Red Wings. That's a Western Conference rival, or an Eastern Conference, I should say, Eastern Conference rival. Now, in, a, in the West, we might be having something brewing here with the Anaheim Ducks. So, two rivals in two different conferences across the NHL already. So, we're, we're, making, we're making enemies so far in this series, you got Zegers moving in. We've got a lot of ducks there in the area, but Regal with the good defense to get the puck back. And Joe Thornton accidentally might have been trying to play it off the boards for a pass, but either way, it's going to go all the way down the ice for an icing call. Now, really good defense for the Huskies. We have been getting very good at the poke check, but take a look at Taylor Jett moving on in with the shot on the breakaway, just blowing by both those defensemen for the ducks is... He's getting his Vidar Lasnadal on, man. He's got a lot of speed, hence the name Taylor Jett. But in the back of the net, we've got the Ducks moving the puck around. A shot that went off wide just a little bit. Chapman here to Lad. Back to Jett. He's looking like he wants to take a shot. He does. Kick save. Oh, might have been off the blocker. He's going to rebound all the way to the right side of the goaltender. I believe that's John Gibson in net tonight. And we've got Tatar moving in past the circle. Up past the blue line, and that is going to do it for the Ducks here. Let's jump ahead to 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and then John Borhoft right in front of John Gibson can't bang it home. It's still nothing, nothing here. So good defense, good shot, save by Neil Till, and it's still going to be nothing, nothing here in the first period. But so, so far, it's been a very tight battle. The Ducks have gotten a lot of pressure on us. We've gotten a lot of pressure on them. And as you can see, the total shots, 10 for Alaska, 4 for Anaheim. So, yeah, it seems like it seems like they've had more shot attempts than just four. That's crazy to me. But they've, getting a, they've been getting a lot of pressure. Taylor Jett moving in, gets the first goal in playoff history, right? For the Huskies, no. Borhoff apparently was in the crease bothering John Gibson. And the referee gets the hand up and says that's a no goal. Vasky getting the rebound and getting a shot off. He's going to move on in. The backhand rung off the post. Either way, that's going to be a power play for Alaska. We have an interference call on Brent Burns. So I think he was interfering with Hunter Vasky near the net, which led to the off balance shot for him. Either way, it was a good attempt. Here is Barnaby moving in. He's got the goal. There's the first goal in Alaska Husky franchise history for the playoffs. Atticus Barnaby with the goal to power play variety. 6.55 into the quarter, or into the period. Wow, sorry, I've been doing a lot of Madden, but a lot of Madden stuff, man. Quarters, periods, yeah. Well, we have a delayed penalty here. Anaheim's not gonna be on the power play, so they have a chance to tie us in regards of a power play goal, right? So it could be 1-1 here if we give this thing up. Let's not do that, let's not do that. Come on, Neil Till, step up, baby. Step up. It is a five-on-four situation here. So the Huskies have to try to get this thing out. Got to clear it. Got to play some good offensive strategy here. Don't turn this thing over. Matthew, what are you doing? Drysdale here to Zegris. He's moving on towards the boards. He's going to turn back around. Here is Steele with the deking and the shot. But Neil Till stands tall, makes the save. Zegris moving in. Nice defense there. By Kinnick. Here's Kinnick on Kane. That's a Vander Kane, by the way. I remember in the last episode we were confused on which Kane that that was. Couldn't tell from all the way here at this camera angle, but it is a Vander Kane. Barnaby moving in. Nice moves there. Just to kind of not, you know, not, just delay it a little bit. Here's Hawk circling, trying to find an open pass. You got Zaitsev. That's going to be a shot off one of the defensemen for the Ducks. More pressure. Hawk. Laying a big hit. Barnaby. Nice job, guys. Good defense there. Even on the offensive attack, we're still getting pressure on the Ducks. And after the second period, it is still 1-0. Huskies. Man, we are playing good. We're playing good. We're hot. We're one of the hottest teams across the NHL. 
Love this. Now it's just time to get it done. We are holding the Ducks to nine shots. The fact that it's one nothing off of 22 shots, we've really got to buckle it down here. But here's Zegris moving in. Neil Till has been so good in this game in the last few games. He's really taking his game to the next level, man. What a save to keep this thing one nothing. You got Hawk across the ice here to Barnaby who takes the big hit. But here comes Hawk. He takes a big hit as well. Man, the blood is boiling here in the Honda Center. The Ducks and the Huskies, man. You got to feel the playoff action right now. Who wants it more? Kessel near center ice moving to the boards. You got Burns. Loses the handle on it but passes here to Steele. Good job on defense by the Huskies. Here comes Taylor Jett here with 15 minutes. He's going to put on the Jets. Here he goes. Oh, the shot. Just a little bit off, and Gibson still makes the save. Now Hunter Vasky moving on in. He shoots. The save, the kick save by Gibson. Here's Thornton moving in. Nice pass. Oh, to Borhoft. He can't put it home. Husky still looking for that insurance goal, and yet it is still one to nothing here. Six minutes and eight seconds left. Neil Till makes a save. Could have covered it up, but instead, with the amount of pressure that the Ducks have been getting on the Huskies here, you kind of want to just kick this thing off and give it back to your teammate here to try to make a push rather than just allowing them to get a face-off in your own zone. Not a bad strategy there by Neil Till. But either way, we got Anthony Siu with the shot. Nice save again by Neil Till. 4.50 left to go. Huskies moving this thing across the ice. They're on the rush. Let's mush. We're on the rush. Hawk with the shot. Barnaby misses it. He had it. He had the puck control. He could have gotten a better shot off to get that goal, but we're still looking for number two. We can't get it. Here's Barnaby, the good defense. He's getting tied up on the boards. Oh, no. Here, here's a bad situation. We got three on two, and it's an offsides. No, 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 no offsides. We're just going to keep going here. Shot off wide. Good save again. No! Evander Kane puts it home. Neil Till made a couple saves back-to-back. -back. But Evander Kane puts this in the back of the net, and the fans are going crazy now for the Ducks. It is now 1-1. One to one. 25 seconds to go. Vasky takes a big hit, but he maintains possession of the puck. Man, this is the, the commentary here, guys. A lot's going on. Woo, here's Borhoff to get a pass to Vasky. They can't get it done. And no, we got a penalty. We got a penalty. Nine seconds. You might want to just let them try to get a shot off. It's gonna The penalty's going to be into overtime by the looks of it. No, we touched this thing. The penalty, if we had not touched it, the, the penalty would have gone into overtime. So it would have been translated into overtime. Carried over, I should say. But 2.1 seconds. We got to win this face off, and we do. And guys, we are going to overtime to determine the game number one winner of the quarterfinals matchup between these Huskies and Ducks. 1-1. One, one. Man, oh man, man. If we just played a little bit better on defense there, or Neil Till, I know we're asking a lot of them here, but if Neil Till had just been able to make that save, that extra said, no, what are you doing? Oh my God. Another goal right there could have happened that would have lost us the game. Just, you know, you gotta, you gotta play it safe here, guys. You gotta play it smart, but look at this shot, the slow-mo here. Cole Janchuk off the post. You could have nailed that in top shelf. Would have been a W here for us on the road. This is a big game for us. I didn't mention this. This is a huge game for us. If we can get this win, steal one away from the Ducks at home, that would be huge for us. But here's Henrique. Fowler off the boards. Here comes Henrique. Can't play the defense. Defense lets us down, and Jakob Silverberg gets the goal. It's a quick pass right in the slot, and we couldn't defend it. And the rest is history. Man. So what a game. What a game. Even though you lose in overtime, what a game it was. Jakob Silverberg. Look at this pass from Henrique. Right to Silverberg in the slot. There's nothing Neil Till can do. I mean, the, the shot could go anywhere at this point. Odds are most likely that it's going top, top shelf to the right in that situation, but you never know. You can wait. That's the problem with being a goaltender, too. You always gotta you gotta anticipate. At the same time, you gotta guess. But it's tough. It's really tough. If he guesses, if he if you know he reacts too quick and he shoots it top left, then I mean you were already there. So it really sucks if uh, if that if that happens. But either way, 
The goal is a goal, man. So we end up simulating game number two, and Peter Vasquez, of course, not happy. You know, being down 0-2 to a tough team. But the way we played this team well in the past, he likes the Huskies' chances. And especially now coming all the way back home to Alaska, Ducks have to travel a ways. You know, even though they're coming from California, they've got to travel quite a bit here to get up to Alaska. But right off the get-go, man, Charles Chapman has got the slap shot working for him. We're really utilizing that X factor that he's got going on for him. That's his first goal of the playoffs. And, you know, in the last couple of weeks, the last couple of episodes, we're starting to see Charles Chapman get the offense going here. That's a nice shot. It's a beauty, beautiful shot right there. Here comes Hunter Vasky here in a 1-0 game. He's going to circle back around and then take this thing right in front with a slap shot. That's going to go off wide. Nice blocker save by John Gibson. Now here comes Vasky again, and he works his way on in with a beautiful backhand. Not actually one of his abilities, but either way, he is a good goal scorer. Got a lot of speed, got a lot of acceleration, can blow right past his defenders. Really nice goal there for Vasky. It is now 2 to nothing. Now, Von Regan is actually getting the start here tonight. So after two straight games, the youngster, Neil Till, you know, he's still under 20 years old. So this is, this is not easy for the young Neil Till playing at a national stage with a lot of pressure. So... It's a really, it's it's just nice to have a guy like Von Regan in the back of the net here when you've got some veteran presence and kind of tone some things down a little bit and try for this win number one in the postseason. So it already, it's starting off good for us, man. Three nothing, Borhoff moving in. It's been a sweet spot for us right there, right in front of the goaltender. You can really go either way. You can go top shelf to the left. You can go top shelf to the right. That's really what we're liking with this offense, with our with our offensive pieces. Now, our offense is actually rated a 100, guys. Did you know this? So, before the game starts, when you see the Huskies lineup and the X factors on the right side, so the matchup screen, our offense is rated a 100. Our defense and goalies, like 65. So, it's not very good. But our offense has to carry us. That's basically what I'm saying here. And it looks like we're going to get a win. Look at Oliver, best hands in the show. Love that sign. That's his first goal of the postseason. And Aiden Oliver puts us back up on the board again with another goal. That's a really nice pass. And it is four to one. Looks all things look like it's gonna be a nice W here. But look at this pass from Grell. He got tied up on the boards and he took the puck on his skate and kicked it all the way up the middle. <laughs> all the way to Charles Chapman, who again has the slap shot working for him. Take a look at this again. Just boom with the thunderclap. Just, you can't defend it. You cannot defend it. But here the Ducks get another goal. It is now 5-2 to two as they get a, they sneak a goal here past Von Regan. But, you know, I, again, I like our chances here. I like our chances, but uh, they're starting to come back a little bit. Phil Kessel with a goal here. It is now 5-3. to three, So they're starting to creep back up here against us. Let's get another one, guys. Empty net variety. Taylor Jett. First goal of the playoffs. He'll take it either way, even if there's no goalie there. You know, don't uh, don't judge him, right? Don't judge him. Five to three. Excuse me. Six to three. Forget, you know, I usually like to count empty nets. I'm judging him now. <laughs> but Von Regan played well. I think the offense really carried us in this game. No doubt about it. Offense really carried us. 6-3 to three is your final score. Hopefully, hopefully that's not just a factor of being at, on home ice. That's another factor, too. Did we have the 41 shots to the 19 shots given up? Passing percentage was high. 86%. Face-offs won. 19. We beat the Ducks pretty handedly in this game. And was it the fact that we were on home ice? Did we, did we have that momentum going for us? Or did Von Regan just play well enough? To where offense could work and that we could win this game i don't know to find out here in the simulation with game number four and we get a win here so three to two an overtime victory that's now back-to-back -back wins and as we take a little quick snapshot here at the series across the nhl across the nhl playoffs here we're gonna simulate this game as well and oh baby yeah you can see my excitement right there Woo! we're up three games to two that's awesome. So I can tell that's a seven, which means we scored eight to win in overtime. 
We are now up three games to two. And, oh man, this is, we got a chance to win a playoff series against a divisional rival. Wow, you can't write it better than this, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a W here. At home. Ray West Airlines Arena. Now, guys, I can't simulate it at that, at that point. So if we got a win in sim, that would suck. I'd have to go, I'd have to back out, which I don't want to do that. I want to one sim it and whatever the result is, I keep. So I, I wanna I wanna get this win here against the Ducks, three games to two. And if we lose, we gotta play game seven at their place, at the Honda Center, right? That's how it's gonna work. So elimination type of games you gotta play. All right. Let's get this thing out of the way. Neil Till is back in net for us here. So Von Regan played well in that last game that we saw with a victory. But we have now got to get the offense going here for Neil Till. We got to do it. We got to do it for our youngster. I trust him. But now it's just about to get it done. We got to just come through and get it done. So here's Seth Colley moving in. Gets the shot off. They rebound. Here comes Aiden Oliver. And oh, he looks like he might have an opening. He does. He gets hit as he shoots and that's gonna find the back of the net second goal for Aiden Oliver Huskies up one nothing early 14 minutes left to go here come the Ducks and Henrique oh man what a shot that's a pretty nice goal on Neil Till man I mean that's a that's a that's a snipe man that is that is a quick freaking shot by Henrique but here comes Lasnadal he's gonna blow by his man he's looking for a pass he gets the pass off to Hunter Vasky who fires this thing in they take the lead again two to one second goal of the playoffs for Hunter Vasky and take one more look man you got the wheels working for Lasnadal then wide open Gibson goes low Vasky goes high what a tandem this is gonna be for the years to come Lazendahl and Vasky, you gotta love when you see the, those two hook up right here. Now here's Trenton Grell, had a good pass in the last game that we saw, leading to a goal. He's gonna take this shot, it's gonna go off wide, but look at Regalwood! Again, a sweet spot, a soft spot in the defense, and Regalwood just fires this thing on Gibson. He finds the back of the net. It is now three to one, and at the end of the first period, we are making a statement here to these Anaheim Ducks. Now look at the passing percentage, the face-offs and the shots. I mean, it's a wacky, wacky first box score here. First period box score. We've got Vasky again. Another shot. That's going to go in. He's got the close quarters thing working for him. What a pass by Regalwood is now 4-1. to one. Second goal tonight for Vasky. But you guys saw the box score, man. We're getting a lot of shots. We're putting a lot of pressure on the Ducks. But they're winning on the other sides of battle. They're winning in hits. They're winning in face-offs. They're winning in passing percentage. So really, I think the question is, is, is it only a matter of time before the Huskies and Neil Till break? Because the Ducks are winning on a lot of these battles here. And here's Steele with the goal. He's cutting into the lead now, guys. Four to two. He cuts it to half. This is huge for the Huskies right now. We're on a power play. Well, the Ducks are on a power play. We're on a penalty kill. And as soon as the penalty kill is over... Bernard is able to stick lift his man, Drysdale. And now here comes Kolianchak looking for a nice open shot. He goes to Matthew Hawk instead. The trailing skater. He passes it to him and Hawk scores. Second goal of the playoffs. I don't think we've seen Hawk score in a long time in gameplay. So that's really nice to see. But now you've got Barnaby trying to take away the passing lane and he dives tripping his man and now in a five to two game it is now five on three ducks so they've got a huge advantage here to get another goal we'll see if they can push it through so here's Steele with a shot and Neil Till makes the save got to keep making a lot of those so five seconds left in the power play here's Vasky putting pressure on we're now even strength and oh what a save by Till he's got the blocker thing going on Let's push this thing out. Vasky, Barnaby, back to Zaitsev, but we got a delayed penalty actually. And here's Chapman with the slap shot. Goal! That is impossible to defend. What a pass and what a shot. Charles Chapman, man, you can't defend it. He's got like the hardest shot in the NHL or something, man. Look at this. Boom! How do you defend that? 
It is now 6-2 Huskies. And now here's Zegris moving in. We've got another goal for Phil Kessel in the playoffs. It's four goals, if you can see it. Four goals for Kessel in the postseason. But, man, third period, 16 minutes left to go. We are just starting here. Now here's Jet. Passes it. No. He takes it for himself and scores. He had a wide open man to the left. I believe that was Vasky. It could have been Vasky or Borhoff. No, Vasky's on the first line, so it would have been Borhoff here. Number 77, I think, right to the left side. And, oh, man, he had a wide open Borhoff, but elected to shoot it himself. It is seven to two, guys, and you know what? We're done. Look at this. It's the third period, and we want more because why the hell not? The Ducks are our rival. Let's get another goal on them. It's eight to three final score and your Alaska Huskies will win in advance to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs oh baby oh baby baby we can officially say it now though we can officially say it now rise up all you fans at Ray West yeah baby Neil Till the winning goaltender there's all of our dudes yeah Hawk Grell Oliver, Vasky, Lazadal, Jet, you name it, man. All these guys, so proud of this group to come through today and in this series, no less. This is a tough Anaheim Ducks team, and we got it done. Not only just in gameplay, but we got it done in simulation as well, guys. And we win this series. We advance to round number two. The combination of Neil Till and Dirk Von Regan, we got to manage this. And each game means a lot. But we got to be able to manage this because you got one guy that's really young but really talented. The other, a lot of experiences but a little less talented. So it's going to be an interesting, it's going to be an interesting little debate here on who we decide to give more games to, unless we do an even split right down the right down the middle. We'll find out who we're going to play here upcoming in the bracket update. But guys, what a series! What a way to go out! We beat the Ducks four games to two. An 8-3 victory, man. This offense has just been killing it, even in simulation. You guys saw it in the last episode. There's no funky business going on, no cheesing. This is literally a straight sim. Whatever happens, happens. And, man, we had we had to win a bunch of games just to get here. And this team got it done in, in the clutch. When it mattered the most, this team got it done in sim. We're getting it done in gameplay. This team is special, man. And I think 100... I think Hunter Vasky was a big addition. I think Peter Vasky has made a lot of good moves to get this team where they are here today. So it's going to be interesting to see how we do against Edmonton in the next round. This is to go to the Western Conference Finals. And Edmonton, we know, is really good. Really good. Connor McDavid. Leandro Seidel. we got to focus on these guys. It's going to be a tough, tough battle. But you know what? Even in Sim, we were winning games against Edmonton. A lot of games against Edmonton. I think we hold the season series above them. I think we're ahead of them in that regard. So I like, I, I do, I, it'd be crazy to say, I think I like our chances against Edmonton. It's crazy to say. But if we ended up playing Colorado, ugh, Colorado's really tough. So we'll see how this thing, whole, this whole thing plans out, guys. But man, you know, Detroit losing in seven games to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh advances to play Columbus. I was really in the back of my mind kind of hoping. You know, do I want to make the Stanley Cup Finals in year two of this series? No. <laughs> but if it did happen, the, the team that I would want to play would be Detroit. I think that that would have been a cool uh, a cool year two storyline. But, you know, it would be totally unrealistic to get there. Uh, well, you know, maybe not. The Vegas Golden Knights made it in year one after expansion, right? So, you know, who's to say that this team couldn't do it? But, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you tonight. Leave a like if you like this thing. I'll see you guys later on this week against the Edmonton Oilers. Let's see how we fare. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, peace.